on. So today we are doing our annual summerween bedroom decorating vlog-ish type of video. Basically, we're just gonna be hanging out and decorating my bedroom for summerween to give us a little bit of something anything at all every year i feel like at this time when we decorate for summerween i am so over summer that i am just needing all of the halloween vibes that way every morning when i wake up i get a full halloween experience that's what we're doing today we're decorating my bedroom for summerween and i really don't have much of a plan i think i have a theme in mind i'm thinking maybe a jack-o-lantern and ghost theme for this bedroom, but we're gonna see where the spooky wind blows us because I don't really have any plans outside of that. So I don't really know what sheets we're doing. I don't know what duvet cover we're doing. I don't know, pillows. You see behind me, we have a big old orange fan. And when I talk about all the fans that I have on, that's one of them. Uh, and a bunch of Halloween pillows over here because we got a lot of decisions to make today. So we're just gonna wing it, hang out, decorate for summer ween. So we're gonna start with the bed because then from there we can kind of accent the nightstands to kind of, you know, complement the bedding and all that kind of stuff. Before we start making our Halloween bed, I wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video because it has to do with the whole mattress situation we're gonna be essentially decorating today. So today's video is sponsored by Birch Living. And if you've been around here for a while, then you may have heard me talk about my Birch mattress before. We've been loving it. So you're gonna see it as we're decorating today. So if you haven't heard of Birch Living before, Birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious and their non-toxic mattresses are made right here in America and are crafted with organic and natural materials that are sourced straight from nature. I was sleeping on a mattress every single night and I wasn't thinking at all about what kind of chemicals could be in the mattress, what my mattress was made of. So as soon as I found out about Birch Living, I was so excited to get my mattress because after realizing what I had been sleeping on before, it was really important to me to choose a mattress that was made with organic and natural materials. And Birch mattresses are Green Guard Gold certified, meaning no harsh chemicals are used. And in addition to being better for me, Birch is also committed to being better for the environment, ensures that their materials are produced and harvested sustainably. We got our first Birch mattress last year, and then we got the Birch Lux mattress, which is the upgraded version, and we love it. Loving the whole 100% non-toxic, environmentally friendly whole aspect of the mattress. But also we realized how much we've been missing out on quality sleep mainly because our old mattress was full on sinking in and we didn't realize it until we got a new mattress and we're like, oh my gosh, this is what it feels like. I was missing out on this the whole time. I thought I was just getting old and that's why I wasn't sleeping well. I've mentioned before our mattress topper, I can't stop jabbing my jaws about the Birch mattress topper. If you like a softer mattress, the mattress topper is a dream come true. Sleeping on a cloud kind of situation. And each mattress comes with two of their Eco Rest pillows, which are made from recycled plastic bottles. They're breathable and better for the environment. Also with the Birch mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial with a 25 year warranty. So if you're a little nervous buying something you haven't tried yet, you get more than three months to try it out, see if you love it. And if you don't, they'll come pick it up and you get a full refund. And the best part of all is Birch mattresses are delivered straight to your door for free within the US. So the mattress arrives to your door in a box, just unravel the mattress and it kind of expands and takes form and you just put it on your bed and it's done. It is so easy. Anyways, if you're looking for a new mattress, definitely check out Birch. You can click the link down in my description box or go to birchliving.com slash Jade the Libra for $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. We're seriously obsessed with all of our Birch stuff. You'll see it all today as we're decorating this Halloween bed or summerween bed, I mean. All right, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now, kind of where we're at. It's pretty boring right now. I stripped the bed a little bit, like I got the comforter off and all that kind of stuff. All right, so this is where we're at right now, just a bunch of sheets. And Neen's is somewhere in that little lump of blankets. What you doing, girl? What you doing? You taking a nap? Okay, I won't bother her, but she's snoozing. But I'm gonna start with the bed here. So we're taking the sheets off the bed and the pillows and Neen's as well is gonna have to come off the bed, which she's gonna be really upset about because she finally found a good napping spot and she's gonna be devastated. Oh, this is such a good spot. I hope you're having a good summer ween season so far. I'm just gonna throw these over here. Um, it's seriously like 108 outside today is what the heat index is supposed to be. So, you know, we have it turned down to October in here. Come on, Neens. I'm sorry, girl. I know you're gonna be so upset. 
I know, scratchy girl. Oh, get that good scratch. Come on. You're so toasty in there. I love you. Oh, did you fart on my hand? So the options are bright orange for, you know, the ultimate classic Halloween vibe or the ultimate Halloween character sheets. It's got all the different Halloween-y things on it. Jack-o'-lanterns, bats, skulls, ghosties, all the things. I got this set from Steinmart a couple years ago. Oh, Neens, I know. All right, I think I'm gonna have to go with the spooky print with all of the Halloween things all over it because I just need it to feel like Halloween. We're gonna start making this bed, get this sheet situation all figured out. The what is this one called? The fitted sheet. The sheet of doom. If anyone else wrestles with these, let me know down in the comments. Because I tell you what. Anyways, hopefully you can see me alright. Because this is a whole new camera situation I'm using. So this is the very first time we're using this camera. So bear with me if the focus or the sound or something is slightly different. That's why. But hopefully the quality is good if it's in focus. It looks like... It is in focus for now, but it's always an interesting experience learning a new camera. I'll tell you that much. Anyways, I love these sheets so much. I am heartbroken that Steinmart went out of business because their Halloween sheets were my favorite and now I have nowhere else to buy them. I've seen some people getting some sheets at Home Goods, but I haven't seen any king size sheets out there. Um, so I don't know where y'all are finding your Halloween sheets. Let me know down in the comments. But I don't know where else to get king size Halloween sheets. Although I guess we could always make our own. <laughs> I guess we could do that. Did anyone else get this same set from Steinmart a couple years ago? I don't know. I feel like every time I make my bed with these sheets, I talk about how much I love them because it's just so true. I try to use them sparingly so they'll last, but they're starting to fade and it makes me so sad. Anyways, let's continue on. Let's put Neems in her bed back. Come on, girl. And let's get some spooky blankies for you. Okay, let's do the witchy house blanket. Jack-o'-lanterns and witches. How about it, girl? What I like to do to make her bed. Here, I'll bring you over here. She's got, first of all, this, this blanket's from... Walmart, it says 100% that witch. So what I like to do is put her little blanket over her bed because she likes to dig up her bed. So the first bed, she's not allowed to dig up so we can preserve the mattress from getting tinkled on too much because she's an old gal. She doesn't hold it as well as she used to. Sometimes she lets a little tinkle out every now and again. So she's got her mattress cover essentially. And then we put our, this jack-o'-lantern blanket. This one's from Target last year. She loves these. She digs in this blanket. Little Needs is going in her blanket. Are you happy? Is that a good spot? Okay, you're grooming. Okay. Anyways. All right, now we're gonna try and maneuver around. We're not done yet. We just had to put you in early so you'd stop crying because you were so upset. All right, here we go with the sheets. Oh wait. I'm going against my own rules that y'all taught me out there. You taught me, and I mention this in every one of these videos now, because I will never stop thanking you for this, this gem of an adult hack that I did not know. <laughs> I don't know. I think I was never taught this because my sheets were always just one color. Like they were just, and I never folded them back. So like when I grew up, like learning how to make a bed, I just tucked it back. I had a water bed, by the way. Did anybody else have a water bed out there? I had a full on water bed. I don't even know if water beds are even, I don't know if they exist anymore. I had the one that was just the bladder in a frame, basically is all it was. There was no cushion to it, you just lay on a bag of water is what it was. If you don't know what that is, just look it up. It's hilarious. Anyway, so my bed, like I would just take the sheet up and tuck it in. So I never folded my sheets back or anything. So that's how I learned to make a bed. So let me know when you learned how to make a bed. Were you team tuck it back behind the bed or fold the sheet over? 
because I never folded the sheet over. I didn't learn this until I was like 30 something years old and it changed my life that you actually put the sheet face down technically so you don't see all the pretty print at first. And then that way when you fold it back, you see the pretty print on it. I feel like that's something that maybe was common sense, but it never occurred to me. Not once. It's not exactly straight, but we've also got a big lump in the middle of the bed. Are you helping? Thank you for helping. I love you. Um, Needs has been extra clingy lately with everything that's been going on. And she does not like change. She doesn't like anything to change if we're up to her. Our bed would smell like a bunch of human butts because that's her favorite thing. So I think we're gonna use this furry duvet cover for this bed situation, but we're gonna do it without the duvet because it's way too hot for the combo. Whew. There we go. This thing weighs like 3,000 pounds. All right, means grab a corner, girl. Help mom out. I don't know. Does this go on the side? Means, do you remember? We haven't used this for a while. All right, Neans, what do you think? I bet you like this. Do you like that? Is it nice and soft? I bet you want to peel over it. This is all short over here. It's all about balance, people. <laughs> Spoken like a true Libra over here. Oh, God. We're untucking everything. It's all falling apart. <laughs> Pure chaos, as always. Okay. Next, we're going to see all of our hard work come to fruition <laughs> by folding this back. This is like my favorite part. There's something therapeutic about pulling back the sheets. Oh wait, I don't know if you can see. Folding back of the sheetage that occurs. See all the pretty print by the way? So pretty. I had no idea this was even a thing. No clue, never learned it. But look at us, call us Martha Stewart. Gotha Stewart. <laughs> Let's get this all done. What do you think, Neens? Do you like the new spooky bed? Neens, we gotta put on your little outfit. Put on your little scarf since we're being extra festive today. From Uncle Freddy and Uncle John. You wanna be glowing? Okay, we're all festive now. Okay, we're gonna have to fold this back quite a bit because Neen's bed is a little bit large and in charge. You look so pretty in your outfit, you know. Here we go. Uh, I feel like this whole video is just me heavy breathing, so my bad. <laughs> we gotta get our pillow situation figured out. Couple of these pillowcases that match. I'm trying to get the pillow in the pillowcase situation. I'm trying to get this going, but you know, we're moving at a snail's pace over here. It's going to be midnight before we're done making this bed means. So I'm going to do black and then a Halloween one and then white, I think. And then I have my birch pillow, which these are so comfortable and so nice and full. They're perfect. Okay. Dallas won't have a Halloween -y pillow, but that's fine. All right, so then for our fancy pillow, we're gonna put, we have the matching fuzzy situation. If you wanna get scientific about it. Okay, here's this one. So we got a couple of options. We got the jack-o'-lantern pillows we got from Kirkland's last year. Here's an option. We can also do this is new this year, this Hocus Pocus pillow. I haven't even cut the tags off yet, per usual. And I feel like we almost need to bring, <laughs> she's gonna be so mad. I'm sorry, we'll leave a little bit there so you can peek out, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute in there. I'll get you out here in a second. You can see though, oh, she's trying to take a nap. These might go in like that. We could do Hocus Pocus. This jack-o'-lantern pillow from Target last year, but it kind of blocks the Hocus Pocus, so I don't know if that's gonna work. We could do, what other pillows do I have? A bat situation. I feel like if we're gonna do anything, I also have, wait, I have this. I got this one this year. Never saw a second one. I wanted a second one. 
So there's that option with the skeletons, but at least with this we could put, you know, like that. Do that, is that just too much? Just this black pillow, so black pillow. And do I need 3,000 throw pillows? The answer is yes, always yes. I'm a throw pillow queen, maybe like this, yeah? I don't know, I feel like it's, you know me, I like all the patterns all the time. All right, let's lounge for a second. I'm like one of two people. I'm either all black and white everything or all Halloween patterned everything. If it's a Halloween pattern, I'm probably buying it. Could do the ghost in the middle, what do you think? With the jack-o'-lantern or do we do the hocus pocus? That's so cute though, the hocus pocus. I normally don't even like sayings on pillows and stuff, but I think that one's kind of cute. But we could also do this on the couch because we have a whole couch to decorate. I don't know, but then this pulls in the white of the sheets. I just feel like that kind of pulls in the white sheets as well. So I put this wreath up and we're just gonna do the same thing we did last time because while I'm out this year, I need to look at some we need to figure out what we're doing for our wall decor. I really want to do something different for our Halloween bedroom wall situation. So we'll think of something. But, um, and if you haven't seen this, if you didn't see it last year, you're in for a treat. I put means on the floor because I don't want this to accidentally fall on her. Like, as I'm putting it up. It'll be fine once it's up. And I'm just putting the nails where I had them last year. And we're gonna get crusty stuff all over our bed after we made it and everything. Last year I had the light up jack-o'-lantern and we put it in the middle. This is from Target, by the way. I also have this, I know means, this happy Halloween sign from the Dollar Tree. We could put this here. I don't think that goes though. Right here. Thoughts? And it looks way smaller on the wall than I feel like it looks in person. In person, it looks like it's taking up more of the wall. Okay, another option I thought about was this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Little neon light, dangly ghosty. But this might not. Another option was to include this other ghosty. This one is not as powerful though. I feel like, or broke all together. Let me add some batteries. There. To where they're kind of, ah, the whole thing's falling apart. Is there a way to get this guy in here? Why is this cord sticking out? Okay, I feel like I'm gonna keep it because it's something different this year and we may just change the entire theme of the bed <laughs> and go with ghosts because I kind of like this whole ghosty theme. And you know I love the jack-o'-lanterns, like I love the jack-o'-lanterns, but I feel like we did that last year, maybe twice. Did we also do it in October, I feel like? So, that being said, I feel like the ghosty. It's the year of the ghost. I'm going to do what I did last year where I took this. Oh, I'm falling. Here we go. Kind of drape it on this. And then, uh oh. Oh, it just fell. And then we kind of do a whole headboard, do it yourself headboard. Don't try this at home. <laughs> okay. And this one here. Oh, that one's way better. How did we even do that? All right. Total, I know, Nins, I can hear you, girl. Total change of plans. Nins, you want to get back in your bed? There you go. I didn't mean to get rid of this one. We're doing ghosts. All right, we're gonna do these haunted house pillows. I don't know that it's gonna go with the Halloween-y looking. We may pull this up a little bit. 
because I don't know if it's gonna go with the sheets as much. So we'll pull the sheets up slightly so you can't tell as much. So we're gonna do these spooky house pillows because that's where ghosts like to hang out. They're these spooky house pillows I got from Home Goods uh, a couple years ago, I think. I know means. All right, let's bring this guy over here. This guy goes here. Then maybe we'll do the black pillow or ghosty pillow. Or, um, or we could just do a black pillow. Chop. Are you really making your bed if you don't chop the pillows? We have the ghosty, which I need to cut the tags off. I just got this pillow. Uh, okay, I'm liking this even better. And I kind of like this pillow. Can it go like this? Is it more like this? Like that? Like that? I think that's it. I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do with this lamp and these nightstands. I don't have all of my Halloween decorations out yet. Like I haven't dug everything out of the boxes yet. I'm gonna try to accumulate some things from around the house, but I like the snake lamps, but I don't know if it goes with the whole ghosty slash jack-o'-lantern thing we have going on. First thing we're gonna start with, I think, is a creepy cloth, because everything is spookier with a creepy cloth, so I'm gonna take this off. Be gentle. So we have one of these creepy cloths. I get these from, where do I get them from? I get these from Dollar Tree every year. I love these. They're a dot, well now a dollar 25, but they're the best things. They make everything look spookier. So even if your house isn't spooky, it makes it look spooky. Like these are pretty modern. These, uh, what am I calling them? Nightstands, that's what they are. Um, these are pretty modern, but when you put a creepy cloth on it, it looks all dark and creepy. There you go, I'm just kind of draping it around so it looks a little bit creepier, and plus it's a little long, so I don't want it dragging on the floor, so that's good. Should we try the snake lamp now and see if it works? I love the snake lamp. I feel like I don't even care if it's not a ghost. It's a spooky situation, so I feel like I need it. And I think maybe, I, I brought a couple of ghosties up because I had these out, these little ceramic ghosties, and I think these are both from Joann's last year, if I'm remembering correctly. But I don't know if we should. It doesn't really seem like a whole lot's going to go with the snake. The ghosts just seem like they're floating around randomly by the snake. And I feel like the combination's a little odd. So I thought about maybe branchy trees. Because you know our whole motto here is when in doubt, grab a branchy tree. And that's what we're going to do. <sighs> I just ran up the stairs. Okay. I get these from Target every year. Let's get a better shot. I feel like we're not getting good visuals. All right, is that a better visual? Like I was saying, I get my branchy trees from Target every year. Let's put one back here. And they usually have them for like five bucks, which isn't a bad deal. And I feel like if I put this here, when I turn these on, I don't know if it's gonna look cool at all or no. That, let's turn this on so it all matches. All right, that looks spooky enough, I feel like, right? Then on Dallas's side, same thing. We're gonna so carefully remove the lamp. We're draping the creepy cloth over the table again, kind of doubling up a little bit to make it a little extra spooky. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Actually, the more messed up it looks, the better, because then it looks extra old and decrepit. These are kind of heavy, I'm not gonna lie. These are from Pottery Barn, by the way, these snake lamps are from Pottery Barn. They're part of the Harry Potter collection. And uh, they're really awesome. Like they're heavy duty. I will get more branchy trees. More branchy trees. Again, same ones from Target. I, do, I can't remember when I got these ones. I've got to move this up a little bit. Right here. And then we got our ghosty that we're going to put here. That's kind of cute. I actually like this. It's actually just nice and simple. This is way cuter than I thought it was gonna be. To me, I was thinking I had to put all the things everywhere. You know how I am, I like to have all the things. But I kinda like the simple little ghosty accents. Let me know what you think in the comments. So we've arrived to this little seating area. It's our futon, I got a new cover for it. Do you like it? Got it off Amazon, I'll link it in the description box if you're looking for something like this. But it totally changed 
the futon experience for me because if you saw I think it was my bedroom clean out uh, this is actually like a red faux leather futon and it didn't really go with anything else so I feel like it kind of transformed the whole thing. Anyways, we're gonna decorate this little couch area and these little tables on the side. Do a whole little spooky situation over here. And I think we're gonna do jack-o'-lanterns. Maybe we'll mix in the ghosts. We'll try to do a little bit of both, I think, over here. All right, starting with this little table, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a whole little creepy cloth situation on this table just to make it a little spookier. So then I think we're gonna use these lamps these uh, spider web lamps. Got these from Home Goods last year. It's gonna be a whole colorful situation over here. Let's see. Perfect. I don't know what else to put in here. Hold on, I think I have an idea. All right, went downstairs and got this guy off the mantle. I think we're gonna go with this little clown skeleton guy to kind of tie in the ghosty vibe with the jack-o'-lantern stuff or orange and black stuff. How does it look? Is it cute? And I want to leave like a little area for some coffee. You know, if we want to sit, read a book, drink our coffee. We want a little area there for some activities. All right, next table. All right, over here, same thing. We got our creepy cloth. We're going to drape this over to make it spooky. We're going to put our lamp. How does it look? First of all, look at all the designs on the wall. I'm excited. And this is Bailey's table, so we're going to put Bailey's stuff back. All right, we have the cutest picture ever of Bailey. Look at him. I'm gonna put this here. We've got Bailey himself in his little box with his little bandana, his Bailey bandana. It lights up. This is the same one Neens was wearing earlier, but she has, hers is right here. Has, so cute, has her name on it. And this is from spooky family members, Freddie and John. So thank you so much, my goblins from New York, Freddie and John. I'm putting Bailey here next to his little picture. And in his little box, he looks so handsome. Oh, and then his other little, I found this, his other little Halloween bandana. I'm gonna put this bandana here and then put his picture like that. Okay, then we're gonna put this cute little guy. I thought he'd be perfect. This little jack-o'-lantern guy I got from Michael's, I think last year. Uh, he's holding a little cat thing. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna put him here. And he's got little dangly legs, so I'm gonna put him right here on the edge of the table to where his little legs hang over. Okay, so this is Bailey's little table, it's so cute. All right, so for the couch, I was thinking about bringing these guys back. These jack-o'-lantern pillows. We're gonna put it here, or maybe we'll move them closer. Then I was thinking we could bust out this Ray Dunn Happy Halloween pillow. Oh, it's got a hair on it. That is my life. How does it look? It's kind of at an angle, so let me see if I can move the camera. There's a better angle. I know everyone's Ray Dunn with Ray Dunn, but I kind of like this pillow, I'm not gonna lie. Another option is the Hocus Pocus pillow we used earlier, which I need to take all the tags off of. I need to put some of the stuff you're gonna see will be in a haul, which I keep saying they're coming up, I promise you they are. Okay. And I just wanted to get a little decorating in first. Why not? I think I like this one. And I thought about possibly, I have another one of these little ghosty pillows. Thought about a ghost on this side. Let's get his little tail in there. Ghost on this side and, okay, now I wanna change everything. Why am I this way? Thought about putting a jack-o'-lantern on this side, but now that I see this, I almost want a ghost on this side. Okay, hold on, hold the phone. You know, do you see the vision that I'm seeing? What do you think? Also, oh, I'm all excited about this. Let's move to the floor, because I'm excited to show you. I have the ghosty rug that I got from, I think TJ Maxx online this year. I was so excited because I really wanted this last year. And if you know, you know the ghosty rug. Did you get one this year? They're kind of like little spermy ghosts. They look like little sperms. But I love it and I, I can't get enough of it. Oh, look at her little nook. Let's zoom out. I think that's as far as it goes. Look how cute our little nook is. Maybe I'll bring these a little closer. It makes me want to get in my Halloween jammies, curl up in a ball on the futon, snuggle up, and read a book. Is what it makes me want to do. Maybe we have one more little area we're going to decorate. Just one little 
look just a little something but i'm all excited about this now all right one last thing i wanted to do before we move on i wanted to put this black and white striped blanket kind of drape it over here kind of drape it over the couch here just to give it a little something like that how does it look like it doesn't feel so i don't know but I don't want it to be like too straight and fancy. You know what I mean? I want it to look a little bit comfortable. Oh, that's it. That's the one. The drapey situation. I'm all about that. Uh, so I think this. I like the stripes added. It just adds a little something. I was going to put it over the back. But I think just a little over one side. Just to kind of break it up a little bit. So it's just not so. Because we've got a lot of symmetry here. Just to kind of bring something else in. Alright, so we have this little seating area over here. Which ends up just being a place that collects a lot of my clothes, but we have a little chair. This we actually got from Pottery Barn as well, which I know, I never used to think of Pottery Barn as anywhere to get any darker furniture or darker decor. I thought it was mainly like farmhouse stuff, but they have a whole teen line because I guess I'm a teen now. And uh, they have a whole Harry Potter collection where I got those snake lamps. But also, they had an Anna Sui line a couple years ago, and we got this chair from there, and it's awesome. I never thought to look at Pottery Barn, but here we are. Okay, anyways, we got a whole new addition to the Spooky family. I'm all excited. We got this pumpkin head skeleton from Target. I'm all excited about it. We haven't even named him yet. Mr. Pumpkin Head, Mr. S pumpkin Skeleton, Mr. I don't know what we're calling him yet. But we got Mr. Skeleton, a friend, a new family member. We haven't introduced him yet because I'm just trying to ease into it. I don't want Mr. Skeleton to get jealous. That's maybe a lot of orange, which I'm not against a bunch of orange. But I just feel like it's not working for me. Okay. This spider web that I got from Home Goods last year or a couple of years ago. I can't remember now. And maybe we can do like a little... Oh, God. I'm so sorry sound like it hurt like that actually you know what i feel like this one will work a little bit better this one's from walmart um, i feel like this one might actually bring in some of the black and orange a little bit better and it won't take up so much of his literal body and i feel like that's it we're done anyways that is it for this video thank you so much for decorating my summerween bedroom with me hope you enjoyed this video if you did you can give it a thumbs up say hey ghoul hey down in the comments because you know i love talking to you also let me know down in the comments if you're decorating your room for summerween what your theme is or if you wait for halloween time or if your bedroom is always decorated for spooky season let me know in the comments anyways thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time Mmm. -hmm.